Hey, this is Ina, in with you in the fight back. And I want to talk to you about something that was kind of bothering me the other day. And that's this concept of totalitarianism. I don't want to get into the idea of totalitarianism as a historical device or analytical tool. I believe there's some deep flaws in that, which I'll go to in another time. Now, my concern is totalitarianism as an ideology. I was talking to someone fairly recently, and as so often happens with me, I bring up the idea of radical social and political change, and I immediately get the response, well, that ends in the gulag. And that just pissed me off. And here's why. This isn't something new. It's always, I, you've heard this so often, especially since the 70s with the whole new philosophers in France, a bunch of Maoists who turned against their political roots and instead of seeing in Marxism or Maoism the salvation, uh, a better way, they turn it, it becomes metamorphosized into something horrendous. And suddenly Marx equals the gulag. Or Mar radical, emancip radical emancipation equals the guillotine. And it annoys the hell out. Because suddenly, anytime you advocate for some radical, necessary social change to the inequalities, to the exploitation and the imperialism and the capitalism we suffer, you're immediately consigned to some nether region because that leads to the gulag, as if suddenly any and every emancipatory, emancipatory project leads to that. That's it. We, we just knock it out. And this notion of totalitarianism is meant to scare you. It's meant to keep you away from any radical change, and it annoys the hell out of me. And here's something else that um, you often see. Yes, we can't go into, we can't have radical change, but what seems to be totalitarian almost is this idea that this is the system. Capitalism is the way. Capitalism is the salvation. You see it on Glenn Beck. You hear it whether consciously or not, on other forms of the media. That consensus strikes me as totalitarian, to turn it around on them, because there's never any way past it. There's never any way beyond it. That is the way it is, and anything else. Well, you've got to consign that to totalitarianism, but capitalism, supposedly that's democratic, that's, that's respecting of people, yet the people who tell you that radical emancipatory projects necessarily are totalitarian, they ignore, most of the time in my view, the gross inequalities, exploitation, and wars that we suffer in now. And they're willing to excuse them based on some ideological mystification through the here in the media and everything, and through these fragmentary ideas they pick up. And they're accusing those of us who want social change of being totalitarian. No, the totalitarian mindset is those who accept the existing framework as eternal when it is clearly not. And just because the Soviet Union ended with totalitarianism, however defined and however flawed a concept, doesn't mean that history is written in advance. History is very open. And just as this present, what we live in, it's not eternal. It can change, it can go. And how it goes depends on us. This is Ina. Until next time.